Hello there and welcome. Tonight I intend to go for a bass down at High or Sandgate. I shall see which one I go to when I get there because behind the castle at Sandgate might be quite busy. But what we're going to do tonight is we're going to try with a live bait for a bass. So the first thing to do is to catch the live bait which will be little whitey and I will be using just a straightforward three hook flapper size four hooks, nothing special, little four ounce plain lead, flop it out 30, 40 metres. From all the info I've had, there's so many whiting in the sea, that shouldn't take more than a minute or two to get a, a bait. I'm going to use three different rigs, simply because you'll find with bass and live baiting, you can have the most savage bites and they drop it. There's no you know, reason, rhyme or reason for it, but it happens. So I'm going to try three different rigs during the evening. If we catch one, great. If we don't, well, that's that's why it's called fishing and not catching. But the three rigs I'm going to use is the old dependable straightforward pulley pedal and the weight clip. These are my preference because if you're an off-the-ground caster, you'll find that with these, once you insert the hook, it'll stay there so you can put your bait on the beach get yourself ready for the cast and pop it straight out if it was just like the imps they tend to drop off and you've got to go through the whole rig roll again so very very good little item straightforward 60 pound main line 20 pound hook link to a 4-0 no messing about we're not fishing for tiddlers what I do every time before I go fishing is I get me a little file and buff up the hook because at the end of the day it's our only connection between us and what could be the fish of a lifetime. So make sure your hook point is nice and sharp. Also aids putting the bait on. With this bait what I'll be doing is hooking it through the back of the fin so if you can imagine a 20 centimetre whiting like so this will go through the back section where his dorsal fin is he'll sit like that on the hook still be able to swim about move about hopefully the bass will hit it midway if that's the case he'll come up against a nice sharp 4-0 hook so that's the pulley pedal the other one is a straightforward what they call flyer. Now what this is, is you cast your you cast your line out with a fixed lead, 30, 40 yards, whatever, and then when you've settled the, the, the uh, lead and tightened your line up, you must have your rod up in the upright position, like a bit, they call it a beach caster ring in the fresh water of a car. But you have it right up, and then with a little clip like so, you clip it over your line, which is tight and into the sea, then it just slides down the line, to the sea and finds its way, it fishes all through the different levels, can go up and down. Again, that's a metre of 60 pound asso line, no point in being any smaller than that, and also keeps the fish from keep trying to get back up the main line. On that one, we have a 4-0 short shank hook, very sharp, and this one I will put through the lip of the white in, so the white in will be sitting like so, Again, hopefully if the bass smashes it sideways, we might get him. If he comes behind, we will get him. So that is what they call a flyer. Very, very simple. Easy to do. The third and last one, I'll just go and get it. So here, this is a live bait rig. It's quite, quite a long thing. We've got four foot of line to a swivel. I've just put this little weight on there to show you where the weight goes really and it's a sliding rig so that's where your main line attaches to the reel just a swivel, good size swivel this will be a bigger weight obviously and can travel down to the next swivel which is there again use good swivels don't mess about with silly little ones because you might only get one chance a five foot trace and again, this time, to a set of two trebles. You can see the treble hooks there, and they're about a 1-0 treble, I would think. Set 
approximately what we expect the whiting to be, about 20 centimetres. Again, before you go fishing, make sure you sharpen your hooks because it could be the difference between catching and having a really good bite and just not catching the actual fish. So just give them a buff up, doesn't take long. I'll do them a little bit more than this once uh, we finish filming. Put that over there for a minute out of the way. The other thing is, I use fixed balls and pen 8000 with braid. Now these are fine for 99.9% .9 of all fishing and do a great job. You, you know, you've got no worries with tangles. This one I will use to fish for the whiting because it's ideal. But when it comes to the, the bass one, because we're fishing close in and we're also fishing for substantially big fish, potentially over 10 pounds. I mean, my biggest from Sango Castle was 12 pounds. So, you know, they're not little ones. I use a multiplier, it's a pen fathom. Idea of this is A, I'm using monofilament, a little bit of stretch, which is great. But the main and most important thing is when I've got it all set and it's in the rod rest, I put the drag on and put it in freeze ball. That way, when the bass comes along, I'm messing about with the other rod, doing something, whatever. I hear it, but more importantly, my rod doesn't go out the English Channel. So, with a fixed ball, it's not so easy. You can either put it in back wide or use the actual clutch on the front, but both are a little bit tricky. That's the way to go for, especially in close bass fishing. I used to use multipliers all the time, decided to go to fixed balls because uh, I had an accident with the hand and it made it easier. Um, as I say, all three rigs, very basic, made by me, perfectly all right, caught loads of fish on them. I use the ASSO 60 pound main line for the rigs because it's ideal, never let me down. And of course, last but not least, because we're going tonight in the dark, I'm going to get there about 7 o'clock, fish till about 10 o'clock. I've already charged my little lamp up. So she's all ready to go. Let's just hope Mr. Bass wants to play the game. Thank you for watching. I'll do a little video tonight when we're down there and uh, we'll see how we go.